Lesson 3.3, Model and Count 7. In this lesson, we use frames to show and count to 7. We show pairs as 7 and 0, 6 and 1, 5 and 2, and 4 and 3. We can show 7 as 5 and 2 more. Here we have a 5 frame that is full. We have 5 purple counters. We have 2 counters under the 5 frame. We have 5, 6, 7. There's seven counters. Here we have a 10 frame with seven counters. The top row is full with five counters, and the bottom row has two counters. We have five, six, seven. Here we have many baby chicks. We can count them with our counters. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven chicks. We can put the counters into the 10 frame. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven counters, seven chicks. Here we have the number seven, and here we have the word seven. We can trace the number seven with our right hand. That's this hand. We start right here, and we pull our finger towards us. Then we come down in a slant going away from us. Let's try it again. We start here, we pull towards our hand, then we go down on a slant away from our hand. We can try it left-handed. We can make a seven with our left hand by starting here like the right-handed students and pushing away from our hand, then coming towards our hand on a slant. Let's try that again. We push it away from our hand and come down towards our hand on a slant. Now another way a left-hander can do it is they can start here and pull towards their hand, then come back to where they started and come down on a slant. So it depends on what feels more comfortable. The important thing is how does the seven look? Does it look nice? Can everyone read it? There are different ways to make seven with number pairs. That means with two numbers, we could use seven blue counters and zero pink counters. We could also use seven pink counters and zero blue counters. Seven and zero or zero and seven. We can use six blue counters and one pink one, or we can use one blue one and six pink ones. Six and one, or one and six. That makes seven. We could do five blue ones and two pink ones, or we could do two blue ones and five pink ones. Five and two, or two and five. That makes seven. We could do four blue and three pink, or three blue and four pink. Four and three, or three and four. That makes seven. Here we've got some pictures of animals. I see a group of parrots. It's a set of parrots. I see a set of lions, and I see a set of chimpanzees. We need to count and circle all the sets of seven. Let's count the parrots. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven parrots. So we can circle the parrots. That's a set of seven. Let's count the lions. One, two, three, four, five. That's not seven. That's five lions. Let's count the chimpanzees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven chimpanzees. We can circle the seven chimpanzees. That's a set of seven. We needed to circle all of the sets of seven, 
and we found seven parrots and seven chimpanzees. So we can model and count seven using a 10 frame and making number pairs with counters. And we can show seven as a seven and zero, a six and a one, a five and a two, or a four and a three. Our next lesson, 3.4, we're gonna count and write numbers to seven. We're gonna do it right-handed and left-handed. I hope you'll join me and I hope you have a really great day. Bye.